Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick White here. Um, and check the description for everything you need to know. I got Hacker Inc. and Leak Code Solutions on my channel. Sorry for mumbling right there. I'm doing all the Java problems right now. Sorry, I've just been doing a lot of problems. This is Java substring comparisons. Um, it's pretty cool. It's actually an algorithm problem compared to the other ones, which are kind of just like calling methods or whatever. Uh, we define the following terms, lexicographic ordering. We just did this. Uh, lexicographic ordering is based on dictionary, like what would come later in a dictionary. So like um, a lexicographic value would be greater if it comes later in a dictionary. So like, for example, B is greater than A lexicographically. A is smaller than B lexicographically and so on throughout the alphabet. As we can see, capitals are smaller than lowercase letters, and this is related to ASCII values as well. So, um, uh, what, here's more examples, right? Because it, go, it goes past the first letter as well, right? D O G compared to D O R, it goes up to G versus R in the end, right? Uh, a substring is just a part of a string. So, substrings of ABC are A, B, C, A, B, B, C, and A, B, C, right? We kind of get that. Um, given the string S an integer K, complete the function so that it finds lexicographically smallest and largest substrings of length k. So uh, we'd be given a word and then k and we want to generate all the substrings of length k and then we'd have like, so down here we look, we're given welcome to Java and we're given three. So we want to check all substrings of length three and then pick the lexicographically greatest valued one and the smallest valued one, right? So we would go through my stra this is the intuitive strategy I thought of, and I think it's probably the best one. So I'm gonna, that's the one we're going to do. There's a few ways to do it, though. Um, you would just start at the beginning. So well would be the first length three substring, right? So W E L, and then we'd move one letter over at a time. Then we do E L C, then we do L C O, then we do C O M, then we do O M E, etc. So we would compare each time. Um, they give you starter code, so they have smallest and largest. We'd ca compare each time, and we'd reset smallest and largest based on our where we are in the thing. We're just going to loop through the whole word with the for loops. Hopefully you guys remember for loops. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's just get started. Uh, we're going to initialize our current substring, which is going to be our variable to hold the current substring that we're looking at. Um, and that's going to be initialized to s of s dot substring of zero to k right that's going to be our first you know whatever k length substring and then you always want to initialize maxes and mins to something usually you want to initialize maxes um to minimum values and minimums to maximum values but here what we're doing is we're actually setting them all to current substring because it's the first value that we can grab, and then we're going to check against all the next, all the values later on in the uh, string. So that's why it makes sense here. And now that we already checked from zero to k, we're going to start at index one. So we're going to do from from one, sorry, to uh, s dot length minus one. And you you might no 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 for s dot length. And you might wonder why not i less than less dot length? Because usually you go up to because the, the last character is s.length minus 1. Usually you go up to s.length minus 1 up to the last character, right? Um, but in this case, we're going to go less than or equal to s.length minus k, sorry. Um, because um, what, 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 what happens in the substring method is it only goes up to the... This is the ending boundary. It only goes up to the letter before the ending boundary. So that's why it makes sense, right? And we're doing minus k because we're going to be accessing, you know, i plus k later on in here. And this would throw index out of bounds if you didn't have minus k. Um, right? So we would loop, right? And we're checking three at a time. But when we get to the end here, right, we'd get to a and then we'd want to stop because we check Ava. We would be checking two steps ahead, but we don't want to check v because there's no more. We'd go out of bounds and we wouldn't, we would hit a wall there, right? So we're looping through. We're going to reset our current substring is equal to s.substring of i to i plus k, right? Because as we move along, we have to get the k a kth length string. So we do i plus k. Um, and then we use the comparator, compare to method. Uh, that by default just gives us a lexicographic uh, value. It gives us a value based on a lexicographic compar comparison when you're using strings. So if current substring dot compare to um, largest is greater than zero, well, whatever method is calling the compare to method, if the value is greater than zero, that means that the value calling the method is greater lexicographically than the, the um, what's passed into it. 
Um, so we're gonna that means that current substring would be greater lexicographically than um, largest. So we're gonna do current substring uh, largest equals current substring. Sorry, because we found a new largest, right? Because current substring this means current substring is greater. And then it's gonna be the same condition uh, for smallest, except we're gonna do we're gonna compare to returns a negative value um, if it's smaller lexicographically. So we'll do smallest, we found a new smallest, and we'll do current substring, right? And this whole loop will execute, we'll check k, uh, k length uh, substrings each time, we'll reset smallest and largest, and then they already have the return statement for us, so we can just submit this. Hopefully the loop boundaries are right, and we could check, and it fails. Why does it fail? Because I'm guessing, if, I'm just, literally just guessing this. Um, Why wouldn't this work though? I don't understand. Oh, all right, okay. I was like so confused. Okay, no, I think this was right. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry about that. I was like, what the heck? Did I just make this whole video and I don't even know what I'm talking about? Okay, there we go. So I was right the whole time. I was like, holy crap. Okay, because so, sometimes I get errors and I'm like, what did I do? I don't even know. Okay, there we go. So there you go, that's the test case. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That was substring comparisons. Remember the compare to method. Uh, substrings and then looping up to minus when you're checking indexes ahead right because we're checking to i plus k you always want to make sure to subtract the amount of steps you're going ahead so thanks for watching check out the next videos and see you guys next time